This is the NFC module from an XP semiconductor called PN532. NFC or Near Field Communication is a technology standard based on radio frequency identification transmitting information wirelessly over short distances. The key distinction between RFID and NFC lies in the transmission range. The RFID is often used for long distances whereas the NFC only has a maximum range of few centimeters at most. NFC devices can act as either a reader or tag. In this tutorial, we will be interfacing PN532 NFC RFID module with Arduino. Earlier, we used the RC522 module which is certainly the best non-RFID module for the Arduino projects. But the PN532 NFC reader has certain advantages over RC522, particularly in the terms of communication option. Here, we will show how to use PN532 NFC RFID module with Arduino according to the different communication methods like UART, SPI or I2C. Later, we will display the UID number of the NFC card on 0.96 inch OLED display. So, let's begin. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good then use the service of next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want including something like red and green. You can select the PCB thickness and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for so more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy, just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your gutter file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Let us see the PN532 module in brief. PN532 is an NFC controller by NXP that is based on the 80C51 microcontroller allowing for contactless communication at 13.56 MHz. Furthermore, the card allows for high transfer speed up to 424 kilobits in both directions. It has 40 KB ROM and 1 KB RAM. It is used to emulate ISO 1443 cards. The ISO or IEC 14443 series of standard describes the parameters for identification cards or object for international interchange. The module supports all the communication protocol like high speed UART, I2C as well as SPI interface. All the components are assembled on the top side of the PCB. On the back side, only pinout and PCB layouts can be seen. These are the SPI pins as this model works in SPI communication protocol. And these are the I2C pins. Using only serial data and serial clock pins, it can communicate with microcontroller. The I2C pin can also be used as UART pins as the pin mapping for TX and RX can be seen on the back side of the board. NFC tags work like any other RFID tag to communicate over radio waves. Two devices are the NFC tag and the NFC reader exchange information. The NFC tag may be your ATM card, travel card, metro card or some other card. An NFC tag sends radio waves to activate the antenna in a receiving devices. The module has all the protocol support. As you can see here, there are two slide switches on the board. These switches can slide in one or zero position to mode selection. The switches are so small that you need to use some rigid wire for sliding. As mentioned here, when both switches are in zero position, it is in UART mode. For SPI, change the switch 1 to 1 position. Similarly, for I2C interface, zero should be in 1 position. You can follow this table. Now, let us interface the module with Arduino in high speed UART mode. Follow the connection diagram and connect the TX and RX pin to 2 and 3 of Arduino. I used Arduino Nano board and assembled the circuit on a breadboard using some jumper wires. The most important thing now is the library. 
This is the PN532 library which is very old but still works pretty fine. These libraries have all the files supporting high speed UART mode, then I2C mode and then SPI mode. Download all these libraries and then add them to the Arduino library folder. So here is the code for high speed UART. We use software, serial libraries and some PN532 libraries. From the tools menu, select the Arduino Nano board and also select the COM board. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. Then open the serial monitor. So it displays the firmware version as 1.6 and asks you to scan the card. So let me scan some cards here. This is the card that came along with this module. So the serial monitor has displayed UID length as 4 bytes and also shows the tag ID number. In UART mode, the card could only read 4 bytes UID card. It was unable to read 7 byte UID cards. Now, let us check this module in I2C mode. The connection is very simple again. Just connect the serial data and serial clock pin to the Arduino ITC pin. On the breadboard, I again change the pin connector as per the circuit diagram. Here is the I2C code for the project. The code is also taken from example. Again upload the code. Then open the serial monitor. It will ask you to scan the card. You can scan the different types of NFC card like bank card or travel card. It will read all the 4 bytes or 7 bytes data. Now the third example is in the SPI mode. This is the SPI connection of the module with the Arduino board. It requires too many wires. I use the breadboard again to connect the module as per the circuit diagram. This is the example code for enabling SPI communication. Again upload this code to the Arduino board. Then open serial monitor. Again scan your NFC card. It is capable of reading the 4 bytes and 7 bytes of data. So this is how you can use this SPI mode for interfacing. In the final version, let us make a portable NFC scanner. For this, I use the 0.96 inch I2C OLED display along with the PN532 and connected both of them in the I2C mode. This time, I will be using a different library. This is the library from Adafruit which is the latest version and updated one. But unfortunately, this library only supports I2C and SPI mode. But you can use any. The code is here. We have used three different Adafruit libraries. The rest of the code is similar to the previous one except the fact that it requires some OLED codes. Now upload this code to your Arduino board. Then open the serial monitor. Here on the OLED screen, it displayed the firmware version. You can swap or scan your NFC card now. So it accepts 4 bytes and also the 7 bytes. You can use this device in multi-purpose application like payment system or security system or maybe attendance system projects. The entire project description including the details and differences of RFID and NFC can be found on How to Electronics website article. You can get all the schematic, connection details, libraries, source code and test results. The link for your site is given in the description. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.